As Ella started climbing the second mountain, she actually became more and more enthusiastic because there is a change in the scenery. So although she actually had to carry heavier weight compared to the first mountain, but because she started seeing different things and she started getting excited about the discovery. Also, she started developing a deeper and deeper friendship with Lucy and Mello. So actually the second ascent seemed a lot more pleasant to Alice. But just while she started enjoying the ascent of the second mountain and was reaching the middle of the second mountain, there was a big news from her family that her mom is moving to the mouse kingdom. Well, actually what happened was Alice's parents wrote each other long love letter for a long time. And then suddenly they started living together. And as soon as they started living together, they realized that they, they disagree on almost every single thing. So they used to fight over a very, very small thing, over each thing actually. So actually the most severe fight came from at what time we should have lunch. Alice's father thinks that we should have lunch at 12 p.m. while Alice's mother prefers having lunch at 1 p.m. So the same fight used to happen over and over and over again and none of them actually wanted to compromise. So one day her mom got fed up, she had had enough, so she just packed her bags and announced that, hey guys, I'm moving to the mouse kingdom. So now the dilemma became for Alice, her little sister, and her little brother, they needed to choose between staying in the ant kingdom with their father or moving to the mouse kingdom with their mother. Well, these three little ants didn't know anything about the mouse kingdom, so they started asking their mother many questions about the mouse kingdom, especially about the mouse mountains on which they probably would have to spend their entire time climbing. So, their mother told these three little ants that mouse mountains are more relaxed compared to the ant mountains. You are allowed to take breaks after every milestone. Wow, these little ants looked at each other in disbelief because breaks is something that doesn't exist in the ant kingdom. So, this was kind of attractive. And their mother also said that to climb the mouse mountain, you don't need to carry that much weight compared to the ant mountains. Okay, so that was it. This one and only argument convinced these three little ants. So they were very excited to go to the mouse kingdom and climb the mouse mountains, which seemed much more relaxing than the ant mountains. So they packed their bags, waved goodbye to their friends, and traveled to the mouse kingdom. Upon arrival, the first thing that Alice noticed that, wow, it's so big here. Compared to the ant kingdom where um, the ants, the family of every ant needed to shift in maybe five or ten different grass mats in the same hut for every ant to sleep, in the mouse kingdom, every mouse has their own hut. Wow, so much space. And the second thing that Alice noticed was uh, the mice has kind of, they look very different compared to the ants. Well, every ant looked almost the same, but mice have very distinct facial features. Uh, moreover, mice, they are bigger and taller in size. So every time that Alice had to talk to a mouse, she needed to raise her head. Yeah, because they're so tall. There was also a change in the food and climate. Alice grew up eating rice, but mice eat cheese cubes. So new diet for Alice, cheese and bread. So there was no problem with cheese. Alice immediately fell in love with eating cheese, but she never understood the excitement that mice have around bread. It's just so dry and hard. Yeah, she just couldn't like it, but anyway. As for the climate, well, it was a bit difficult because Alice actually moved from the hottest city of the Ant Kingdom to one of the coldest city in the Mouse Kingdom. So she really suffered in winter. Moreover, the winters in Mouse Kingdom are three times longer than the ones in the Ant Kingdom. 
So in winters, mice usually go out just wrapping two to three layers of cotton outside when they go out of their hut. But poor Alice, she needs to wrap herself, she needs to wrap five layers of cotton around herself before she could step out of the hut. And even with those five layers of cotton on, Alice kept shivering. But despite the cold weather, actually was actually, Alice was actually thrilled in this discovery of a new life that's radically different from everything that she was used to. So she was really thrilled in her joy of discovery and would like to share with you the first song that she learned in the mouse language. J'aime sa couleur café, ses cheveux café, ta gorge café. J'aime quand pour moi tu danses, alors chante en murmurer. Tu t'es bracelé, joli bracelé. À tes pieds, il se balance couleur café. Que j'aime ta couleur café. So I hope you enjoyed the song and I'll see you again in the next part of the story. Bye!